movement tips and lifestyle hacks brought to you by FitLab PGH. Movement, a part of making your life complete. FitLab PGH is back with another movement tip and lifestyle hack video. Today we're going to use our imagination and pretend that I'm in a plane. We're going to talk about some tools and toys for plane travel so that rather than suffering through plane travel, maybe it becomes bearable. If you're like me, you probably can't afford to fly first class, so you get stuffed back in cattle call. Depending on the airline, the seats may get smaller and smaller. You may end up with somebody on either side of you, although if you're lucky, you don't end up with that middle seat. And if you're relatively wide-shouldered as I am, you find yourself kind of hunching in, slumping down, just kind of hiding and hoping that the plane flight just ends. So we've got some tools and toys that we use. We kind of think of these as hacks so when you get off the plane, you don't feel like you've just been run through the ringer. You don't feel all stove up and you're able to maybe move, maybe go for a nice walk or a jog and explore the new city that you're traveling to. So we've covered both in past videos, both the IntelliSkin shirt and the Donnie Thompson uh, bow tie. Either one of these is excellent in the plane for reminding yourself when you're slumping down like that, you can turn some of those muscles on. So I have used the IntelliSkin intensively quite a bit for flights as long as 16, 17 hours going to the Far East. I like it, it's a great product. The problem that I run into is in the summer, it gets really, really hot, which with an all synthetic type of thing, you can kind of understand that. The other thing that it is, is it, has, it is rather uncomfortable for long wear because it's an extra layer. It's underneath all your clothes. When you're sitting and not moving around, it has a tendency to ride up, which it doesn't do when you're using it when you're working out. And I'm probably the guy shoving through the plane when it lands so I can get to the bathroom and take it off. But a really great product, really good for shorter rides, really good for plane flights when the weather is cooler. I haven't used the Donnie Thompson bow tie on a plane flight yet. I've used it for a couple of long drives and I like it even though it's a little more obtrusive. I've gotten a couple of comments in rest areas in New Jersey and Pennsylvania saying, what is that thing around your shoulders? But this is very good because it's easy to take on and off. I've tried to take the IntelliSkin shirt on and off in a airline bathroom. There's not enough room for somebody who's relatively tall like me. And I had a lot of muscles cramp up doing it. This is nice that you can put it on, you can wear it for a while, you can take it off. It's a little bit more comfortable uh, for that sort of thing, but again, it's a lot more obtrusive. So if you're one of those people who really doesn't like it or doesn't like to be noticed, this might not be the best choice and the IntelliSkin might be a better choice. Both of these are to help remind you when you have a tendency to slump down like that. A couple of weeks ago, we had a video where we talked about using this if you were stuck sitting in an office chair we uh, credited the mobility workout of the day with Kelly Sturette. He's the one who came up with this, or at least where I first saw it. But I've also used this on an airline if I have a tendency to slump down, which I do have a tendency because the seats are not made for me. Again, like the bow tie, this is a little bit more visible. So if you don't want to talk to your seatmate or you don't want the steward or stewardess to ask you a question, excuse me, flight attendant, then you might want to do this, but this is something, again, it's very easy to throw in your bag. We just loop it around, we put it down around the sacrum. A little stretchiness on the knees. We want to make sure we get it down on the shin bone and not on the patellar tendon. And it just kind of reminds us to sit up like this. I can tell you that I don't use this and the bow tie and the IntelliSkin. I kind of pick one depending on the flight, depending how I feel. What I like about this is this kind of reminds me how my hips are functioning. So it reminds me if one leg feels tighter than the other or one hip doesn't want to move as well, and it tells me what I need to work on. So we like this. The final toy that I like for plane travel is I have a tendency to do two things when I travel. I have a tendency to slump, so I use the bow tie or I use the IntelliSkin. I have a tendency to kind of drop down in here, go into a posterior pelvic tilt and flex my lumbar spine, and then I wonder after two or three hours, why does my back hurt? So I may use the Gemini or my homemade toys, which are the lacrosse balls or the tennis balls. I like the lacrosse balls because I spent the most time making, making them. And what I do is I make myself sit up straight. I put this down in my lumbar area, back against the seat. And what it does is it reminds me when I start to slump down like that because it's uncomfortable. I also sometimes use it if I find I'm in a seat or I have a tendency to slump down like this. I may put it in my thoracic area 
And what it allows me to do is kind of just do a little bit of thoracic extension. When I do this, I always surreptitiously find where my ribs are and make sure when I'm doing that thoracic extension, I'm not popping my ribs out. So those are some toys and tools that FitLab PGH uses when we travel. Check out our next video where we're going to talk about what you can do in the hotel room before going to a conference. Three times a week, FitLab PGH brings you a movement tip or lifestyle hack. Thanks to the Pilates Body for providing us a locale for filming.